Hello, welcome back. I'm Lorenzo, and today I just wanted to do a comparison of the new original curvy, cheeky jeans. I think I said all of those things. I'll put a picture here from Everlane. So this is supposed to be like a renewed and better fit of jeans than the previous cheeky straight that they had before. It's supposed to have a higher rise and just be a better fit. I don't know how they're defining that, but that's why we're here to try it out. So I decided to buy the white or a crew or the, just like the white version of the jean. And I decided to do that because I wanted to not only test the jean, but also test how see-through or like light and white colors are because I've seen that problem with other jeans. So I just wanted to see how this one would fare. So I would say it's very strongly an off-white or cream color. It's not white. Just for a little comparison, this is a white tank top, clearly different colors. So if you're looking for white, that's not what this is. It has the traditional Everlane patch. This one is kind of a weird material. It doesn't feel like the normal leather they use. It kind of just feels like almost like cardboard. So that's interesting. Um, but I like that it's in like kind of a taupey gray and kind of goes with the rest of the pant. The stitching is also a cream color, so it kind of just blends in. And then the hardware is silver, which as a girl who wears silver, I really appreciate. So I got the regular length, which was 28 and a half inches. And then I also got a size 30, which is the same size of the past cheeky straight jean that I wear. And yeah, I think it looks really nice. It has some kind of flex of different kind of browns and taupes throughout the pant, which is interesting. It's very much more of like a rugged natural color of jean. So I'm gonna be comparing it to the first rendition of their cheeky straight jean. I'm also going to compare it to their 90s cheeky straight. And then in terms of like coloring and just, you know, having a similar white jean, I'm comparing it to these curvy loft jeans. So I'm just gonna start with the OG cheeky jeans that they had, which is hilarious because they call the new jeans original. So I'm confused, but okay, whatever. Anyway, their first rendition of cheeky jeans, I really liked and it kind of hits me a little lower in the waist than I would normally like, but it's still a very comfortable jean. It goes all the way to like the base of my ankle, kind of right where my ankle bone starts. And uh, yeah, it's always been kind of one of my favorite pairs of jeans since I got them a cut like six months ago or something. Um, in terms of straight, they're kind of a skinny straight. They've always really been a lot closer to my body than the 90s style. So they kind of remind me more of like a cigarette pant than like a normal straight jean, in my opinion. So yeah, that's how I feel about the first rendition of their cheeky jean. I really like it. I just wish that the waist was a little higher and then I think it would have been a perfect jean, which is apparently what this new one is claiming. So let's see how that one looks. Okay, so wearing the new cheeky jeans, um, definitely is a higher waist. Not by much, but maybe by, I don't know, half an inch or so. Um, you can definitely tell the zipper is a lot longer on this one than the other one. The length is, I would say about half an inch longer, but I also haven't washed these, so that might change in the wash. In terms of how straight they are versus like baggy, I would say they're very similar to the First rendition, my black pair. Um, yeah, I think maybe they're a little tighter in the thighs, but it's kind of hard to tell. Overall, like I really like these jeans. I think they are the upgrade that I was looking for, but I do want to kind of examine them a little more in the light. They are looking pretty opaque. I'm wearing nude underwear, but I'm not wearing any seamless underwear. Um, I think they're covered in that sense. They're not super light. Something that always bugs me is if you can see the pockets from the pant and you can 
a little bit in these, but not too much. Yeah, overall, I think these are really flattering and I'm liking them. So let's go ahead and compare them to the 90s so you can kind of see the different leg style. Okay, so here are the 90s straight. Um, I have more looseness in the thighs and a little bit behind, whereas the cheeky jean, the original one, it definitely was like skin tight here. So it's definitely a little looser through the thigh. Um, I think it's a bit tighter through the hip. So if you have a lot larger hips than your waist ratio, the cheeky original might be a better fit than the 90s. The rise is very similar. I would say it's pretty much the same. And then the leg is actually a lot more similar than I thought. I feel like I'm having a little bit more room in these than with the original cheeky, but they're pretty similar. I would say the only real difference is I have more space in the thighs than I did with the cheeky original. And it's a little tighter on like <laughs> my upper butt, <laughs> I guess my hips. Other than that, I feel like they have the same fit. Um, this one of course has a button fly, which to some people I know they love and some people hate. Um, I'm kind of somewhere in the middle, doesn't phase me a whole lot, but yeah. So that's that comparison. And then lastly, I'm just gonna compare the Everlane new <laughs> original cheekies to um, just the coloring and style of my loft white pants because these are the ones I've always had before. Okay, so I have my loft straight jeans on and they're definitely looser than the Everlane ones. Um, it might just be because I've worn them before. Um, they have a little bit of a curved leg at the bottom, um, which the cheeky does not. It just has more space in the knee to <laughs> foot area. Yeah, just overall, it's a looser jean. It is a lower waist, um, so that's not my favorite. I'd probably prefer the original cheeky to this pair. And also the hardware, this is the dark kind of bronze color, whereas the cheeky jean has silver and that's just more my vibe. I would also say that these are a little bit more see-through too than the original cheekies, which surprises me because um, I thought these were pretty opaque, but yeah. These are also shorter, which, you know, is fine. <laughs> and just overall a bigger fit. But in terms of color, in terms of color, the Everlane pair is much more warm and more of a beige than the Loft pair that I have, which is more of a off-white in this light. Um, so I actually prefer the color of the Loft pair better than the Everlane pair. So I just don't wear warm tones as much. So that's something to think about if you're more cool toned or you just don't like a really warm white. Um, I definitely say this is almost beige than a white. Yeah, so something to keep in mind. Overall, I really like their new version of the cheeky straight jeans. And also like all of these are curvy <laughs> jeans. Like I didn't buy the regular ones, I bought the curvy ones because um, that's just what fits me best. I definitely prefer the new higher waist than the lower waist they had. So I would definitely like to replace my jeans um, with the new version in the future. And I honestly really like that they just upgraded the jean with a higher waist rather than coming out with a new style of jean. Cause they could have just come out with a new jean that's like, oh, this is the, I don't know, vintage straight or something like that. Just a new name and then be like oh it's similar to the cheeky jean but it's just a higher waist which is kind of confusing i think for people when they maybe have already really liked the original cheeky straight and they just like don't know what to buy now because it's a totally different name which i always hate when people do like companies do that so yeah overall i'm really happy i don't think i'll keep these ones for now just because i don't need them at the moment um, but if they go on sale in the future, I'll probably pick up this white pair and maybe like the black pair to replace my black jeans, but I don't need to do that right now. 
I'll probably just wait until there's like a crazy sale, like in a year or so. Let me know if this video was helpful for you or if you have any more questions um, in the comments below, I'll read through those and answer you. Give this video a like and subscribe if you like fashion, style, and thrifting. That's kind of all the videos I make. I post every week, so I will see you next week with another video. Cheers!